is Andrea. And my name is Frank. And this is Mr. Chu. I've had Mr. Chu for about two and a half years. Uh, he's about three and a half years old. I got him from a pet store. Apparently someone just dumped him off there and the pet store was looking to get rid of him. And at the time I had been looking for a chinchilla after I had done some investigating. And um, I brought him home that, that day. He's my, first, he's my first chinchilla. I like his witty personality. He's very different from every other animal. If we let him run wild in the uh, in the apartment, he tends to chew wires and the legs of the furniture. So we play with him in a confined space. We hold him to get him used to us more. Um, and he, of course, he gets his dust baths, which are quite amusing. The best thing about him is how easily he could put a smile on her face. You know, she she doesn't leave the house or come in without running right over and saying hi or goodbye to him. And it's kind of like a kind of like a little kid, you know. <laughs> So where did you get this most beautiful chinchilla? He's the prettiest chinchilla I've ever seen. Thank you. He is handsome. Um, I got him from a pet store. I adopted him and made him my own, and we're, we're, a, happy, we're a happy family. He's just he's a little furball. How could, what could he possibly do wrong? Oh, no. He's a pretty good boy overall. Uh, one thing I noticed is that he sits pretty good for you, and I know that he won't tolerate her holding him, and I, I really actually never tried to hold him. He tries to jump and get away very fast. Well, I'll show you what to do. Put the container on the floor. I've been holding chinchillas for literally 40 years, and the key is he's cupped inside my hands at all four feet. It's all nice and secure. So in his mind, this is what chinchillas do. They're on top of a little rock in South America looking around. So that's basically what I've got here. So rather than restraining him, which panics them, they don't like their feet to be, see now he's kicking out because he doesn't feel secure. So, you, so your hands are, you got teeny weeny little hands too. Let me try Frank, let me try your hands. <laughs> you got big hands like mine, okay? See, now he feels secured. Okay. All right, see if you don't want him to go forward, rather than holding him back, just put your hand in front like this and then he'll stay there. So now he's staying here because he feels secure. This is his little outperch, his little rocky outperch. And he's staying here not because you're holding him there, but because he wants to stay there, because you've offered him something that's natural to him. Mm. So the, the whole idea is to look at it from his point of view. When you're a little animal like that, if somebody grabs you, you don't live very long. So you do your best not to be grabbed and not to be restrained. He feels comfortable right now because he knows that if danger threatens, he can bolt if he wants to. And this is why they panic so much when you physically hold them. Well, he's a perfect chinchilla. He, he, he's got TV charisma. He's one of the few chinchillas that have been on television. So what you're doing is fine. He's just the most beautiful chinchilla. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. When you're a little rodent, Basically, you're just happy to be alive. The idea of getting treats is something that's totally foreign to them. However, we love our rodent pets, at least I do anyway, and pet stores these days are full of different types of packaged treats that you can give your hamsters, gerbils, guinea pigs, or chinchillas. And I remember when I was a kid that when my chickens would break their eggs and I would toss the eggs out into the garden, the chipmunks would come out of nowhere and start eating the eggshells. They wouldn't eat the egg, they'd eat the eggshells. I was like, gee, that's interesting. You know, rodents must like eggshells. So I put some eggshells in with my hamsters and gerbils and they ate them too. So I wanted to dress them up a little bit and that's where I got the idea of, of sweetening some seeds with honey and putting it inside the eggshells to make these little eggshell treats. And when I was a kid, that's what I did all the time on a rainy day. And I would make a whole bunch of eggshell treats and I'd put them into the cages with my rodents. Now, you know, fast forward 30 years and I discovered that rodents do like calcium and seek it out. And those wild chipmunks are grabbing those eggshells and running away with them just to get that extra calcium that they needed. So this is what I did back then, and this is what you can do now. You just got to get some uh, dry, clean eggshells. And I like to use parakeet seed because it's small and it compacts well. If you use the bigger seeds that are in the hamster mix, the honey won't be able to stick the larger sunflower seeds together. And the other issue is that usually hamster mixes have a, uh, like a type of dog biscuit in there. So with the dog biscuits in there, the honey is going to break it apart and it's going to rot and mold. We don't want that. So all you need is get some dry, clean eggshells. And we put a little dash of honey in there. Just a dash. And we sprinkle the parakeet seed in. And then just let it set. After you mix together, 
the seed and honey, then put the eggshells in the refrigerator for two or three days. So the honey chills and sets and gets really, really hard. Just like this, and it won't even fall out. So it's now it's something for the hamsters and gerbils to gnaw at. So let's see who likes it here. Come on guys, plenty to go around. Now as you see, these little rodents really enjoy this. But yet they do enjoy other things too. You can buy all sorts of treats for them. You can put a piece of apple in, the, in here and they'll enjoy it very much also. But what I'm saying here is that it's nice to have some kind of a craft project that a family can do. And it's nice to do a craft project for a pet. So here's something about the natural world that the whole family can learn rather than sitting in front of a computer or sitting there texting each other. A family project that will benefit the pets and bring your children closer to the natural world and keep them away from the virtual world. Plus you'll probably save about 10 or $11 because that's how much most of these packages of sweet rodent treats cost in pet shops. Well, when we come back, my customers have big questions about little rodents and I've got the answers. Pressed 3D White was recognized.